Woodstock Fruit Festival. We'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. Question from Jen in Port Macquarie. I hoping you could do make a video about your experiences with drivers on the road, your ride around the world. What share? What's your uh, what have your experiences on the road? Well, I've cycled a lot of places. Perth to top of Cape York, Australia. So just a lot of redneck areas are there, but I had no problems except for maybe once you're in Queensland or <laughs> certain parts of South Australia. Cycled Seattle down to LA, cycled all through Europe, Spain, Luxembourg, Belgium, Holland, Germany, France, England, Holland, Netherlands, Netherlands, and uh, Asia, Singapore, up to Cambodia, done a little bit of Central America, not a lot, but just Costa Rica. I found Australians definitely, hands down, the winners of fuckheads on the road. <laughs> America, I didn't get a single bit of road rage from cycling Seattle down to LA. Actually, one time, some kids in a car said, put your shirt on, you faggot. That was, you know, that, that's, that's all right. Um, but Australia, man, I've had poles thrown at me, bottles thrown at me, cups of coke thrown at me. I had a Big Mac thrown at me a few times. I could tell because, it, you know, you know the smell of the Big Mac, the special sauce. Um, Asia, no road rage at all, except for one time a Westerner on a Koh Samui, or Koh Panyang, gave us shit for riding our bikes in the road. And we, we told him to <laughs> get his fat fucking gut out of the way so we can keep riding. And uh, and then we threatened to fucking slash his tyres. But that's, I don't recommend doing that, but that's, you know, sometimes I get a bit <laughs> fired up. But I don't think that's the best idea to get fired up and to, to be violent. I've gotten into plenty of fights, that's why I do kickboxing and boxing. And it's good to have self-defense. I think the main thing is have self-defense. And no, I, you know, I know how to fight, and I know how to run. So I can, if I can't beat anyone in self-defense, I can always run. So the violence, you know, it's sometimes sometimes you got to defend yourself. And I'm not saying that's recommending people to do that because you know, everyone's different situation. But I'm saying to myself that I've had plenty of bingles and and panel beating and stuff like that, and blood noses and you know, dropping people on the ground, stuff like that. But I don't think it's the best thing, but sometimes you, you just, you snap, you snap. So you always want to be, uh, you always want to be careful what you do because you don't want to get, uh, you don't want to kill anyone because <laughs> it can happen, man. It's easy to kill someone. You punch them in the throat, they're down. So you want to, you always want to avoid violence, I think, if you if you can, or just be a skilled fighter and know how to uh, take down someone, things like that. But you're best off, just avoiding it. So my recommendations would be to live in areas where they're conducive to cycling. You don't. I don't like living in fucking redneck areas because you just get into fights so much. I mean, I get into fights so easily. It's. I don't live in places like Sydney because this is punch on all the time. Adelaide's getting pretty good, and now Adelaide's actually really good because a lot of the the fights in Adelaide, the guys back down really easily. Because once you catch them and they know you're fucking serious, they, they, they back down easy. Gold Coast, Gold Coast is pretty good for fighting. Like, bit of fuckheads in the Gold Coast. It's easy to get in a fight in the Gold Coast. Um, Brisbane's pretty good. Darwin's pretty good. Kansas is alright. It's, it's getting better. I think it's getting better. And the main thing is, just do it, get out there. But I always live in areas where I can train with other cyclists, and now I'm into running. I train with other runners and kickboxing. I always like to have a place so I can train and spar with other Muay Thai fighters. So you want to, and then when you're in that area, you have less, you have more consciousness, you have less fuckwits. Because the more people train, the more conscious they become in terms of being nice to other people and being considerate. So my tip there, Jen, would be to move to places that are more conducive to the lifestyle because that's what I do. That's what I've always done. Even when I was living on, uh, I remember getting hit by a bus once, <laughs> hit by a bus, and I was living on welfare. I still lived in a place where it was conducive to, you know, cycling around, things like that. So I was on minimal income, but I still managed to move to a place that suited my lifestyle preferences. So it's not about the money. Just use that as an example. It's not about the you know, the time or what it's just about the desire and my tip for cycling would be to places to live as a runner, as a cyclist would be, uh, would be the Gold Coast, would be Adelaide, definitely, Adelaide's fucking world class in Australia, in the US I'd say New York's good if you're a runner, cycling's pretty good in New York, you know, good 
but it's probably San Diego, uh, areas around Los Angeles near Santa Monica there, so right, um, Portland, Oregon, Portland, Oregon's probably one of the best in the world, Boulder, Colorado, so you can just Google up best places to live in the world as a cyclist or a runner, and then just move to those places and find work doing what you love, and when all your work is playing, never work another day, and that's basically all I can say is go to where the best places are to live. The bottom line, move to where it's conducive to follow your heart, to follow your passion, to live your purpose. Move to those areas and do it as soon as possible. Peace. Thanks for watching. Click like, share, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Post your comments and questions down below. And remember, if you're in a situation where you have to defend yourself, don't start the fight. Use minimal force and take down the opponent. Remember that if there's witnesses, you can end up in a court of law. So don't do anything you're going to regret. And uh, use arm bars, use takedown maneuvers versus uh, throat shots or uh, you know head shots. Because you can kill someone if you hit them hard enough. So you don't want to do that. So you don't want to do that just have a road rage incident. So be careful what you do. Do some training. Learn some skill. And learn some finesse, some basic self-defense finesse. So you can control the situation versus the situation controlling you. Thanks for watching. Stay out of jail. And we'll see you on the road. Peace.